drainage bag should be emptied at least daily, more often if it fills, in order to prevent infection in the system, reduce odors, and keep the system open and flowing. To empty the drainage bag, the following steps should always be followed. Carefully wash and then dry your hands with a paper towel. Discard the towel into a plastic lined wastebasket. On a tray covered with clean paper towels, assemble the following equipment. A large plastic or glass container, a large plastic sealable storage bag, disposable gloves, paper towels. Place the tray on a stable surface adjacent to the bed. Carefully wash your hands, dry them with a paper towel. Discard the paper towel into the wastebasket. Put on the disposable gloves. If you are emptying your own bag, there is no need to use gloves. Place the container under the drainage bag. Remove the drain from its holder. Point it into the container and release the clamp on the drain to allow the urine to flow into the container. Do not allow the drain to touch the container or anything else. When the drainage bag is empty, close the drain. Replace the drain and its holder at the base of the drainage bag. Check that the catheter and tubes are in place. Take the equipment tray and the container of urine into the bathroom. If your doctor or nurse has asked you to record the amount of urine, measure and make a note of it now. Discard the urine down the toilet and clean the container with liquid soap and water. Dry it thoroughly with a paper towel and discard the paper towel into the trash. Remove your gloves and discard them into the plastic storage bag. Seal the bag and put it into the trash. Wash and dry your hands. Discard the paper towel into the trash. Some patients are able to wear a leg bag during the day to allow them to walk about. Then the larger drainage bag has been disconnected from the catheter. The bag can be unhooked from the bed frame, carried into the bathroom and emptied directly into the toilet.